Hey, my name is Iris Salonka. I'm 15 years old. I attend University City High. I'm a sophomore. Yeah, um, I'm part of the Aaron Price Fellows Program, so that's just a program that um, takes you behind the scenes of the city and like shows you different career paths that you might possibly be willing to pursue in the future. And something that they, and they have a lot of things that they say that are so meaningful and really thought provoking, but I think um, just a simple one that like to the ear doesn't really sound too much until you think about it is um, take space, make space. So I think like um, like as I'll soon be like part of my like community as like a citizen, I'm almost 18, well two years <laughs> getting there. So I think um, having a word and taking a stand is really important, but uh, you really want to make sure that by doing that you're not taking out it, like there's the space from anyone else away as well. So. I just think, um, like for me, what that like what that means to me is just like being able to like be yourself, hold a stand, stand true to your opinions, um, but as well, engage in community and make space for others. And once you found your own strength, help others find that. So then, because to make like a full community, which I think is really inspiring, and I think about that a lot. So, <laughs> um, but I think definitely one of the most inspiring people is my dad. Um, <laughs> he uh, he actually works at UCSD. He's an astrophysicist. And he moved from Milan here around, we moved around 09, so I was like one, I was like around one when we moved. He's moved because uh, he wanted to like grant me and my sister, I have a younger sister, Violet, she's seven years old. And they, he wanted like us to be offered like the opportunities and all the resources that weren't as offered in Italy. So, and I really look up to that, like a, not necessarily just um, him as, him as a father because he's been a wonderful father, but him as a person, he's so intelligent, he's kind, and he, and he doesn't settle. And that's something that I really want to put into myself, into this new you know, person I'm creating and becoming. I definitely do not want to settle and do not want to settle for the people around me because he didn't settle for himself and he didn't settle for us. So moving forward, that's the image that I will want to project for myself. And so for me, success is just being able to define that for yourself. So what you want to do, what you want to pursue. So. I think um, what that looks like for me is um, a career in medicine. I've been wanting that for a really long time. First it was just the thought of helping people, but now that I'm taking biomedical sciences at UC High, um, it's definitely the science that attracts me a lot. I think it's just, I think it's just beautiful. And also like just to be able to be the person that, you know, gives someone back their grandma, their parents, someone who they love very much is like the biggest gift. So success is just knowing what you want to do and achieving it no matter the challenges just overcoming that and so i'm looking forward to being able to establish my own success in the you know following decade working hard we'll see <laughs> and also one of my proud accomplishments is um so i have a younger sister violet she's uh currently in school now and she has for a long time so we have a really big age gap we have like an eight year age gap and so i think kind of establishing that kind of relationship has been really hard. But um, I think that now that I know the dynamic that I want between us is, um, I want to be a person she can be close to, but also someone she can look up to. So I think the um, biggest thing is cultural identity. I've been trying to set an example of that because we, you know, we moved here, so you know, being in contact with Italy is so much harder than just being in contact here, and then just being kind of letting go of that to be more set here. And um, I also am very grateful to my parents. They always said, like, you in the house, you only speak Italian, like, <laughs> so we didn't lose that. And I've also, I've, I enrolled in an Italian academy to make sure that I stay. I took an H, the Italian heritage test in May. I got a five, I was so happy. I think it's absolutely so important to keep that connection. And so now with Violet, I'm, I also, uh, I convinced her to get enrolled into the same school that I went to. And so now I can see we went to um, Italy last summer and my sister was reading my grandma a book in Italian. And my grandma was, you know, she was in tears. She was so happy. And that was one of my proudest accomplishments of just seeing like her, like just grow into a more comfortable cultural identity to have my own, like, you know, have a, my own importance in her life was the biggest accomplishment, yeah. Okay, short and long-term goals. So short term, this has been a goal I've always had and it's just get all A's. And that and that has been a goal that I've had, but in this like past year, I think I've really shifted mindset because it's not only, it's not the letter grade, it's actually the knowledge that goes behind it. So I've taken more time and not only 
memorizing the material, but learning it. Because there's such, there's a drastic difference in that, and I've learned that with, with a lot of time, a lot of tests. <laughs> um, but now that I have the bigger picture and I know what I want to pursue, this has been such a, like, a bigger, like, goal for me that to actually know what I'm doing and understand it and find things that I'm passionate about, not just good at. Because I... Of course, like I can, you know, you can be good at different things, but something that I, that you're passionate about. So I've definitely found this with, with biomed, so medicine. I'm not, I definitely want to go clinical. I was thinking for a long time, clinical research. So long-term goal, going to clinical medicine. Um, I definitely want to pursue that. I've, I've had that on my mind for a while. I've been taking some several like summer internships I've been applying to that I, like I already want to step, step a foot in the field, you know, just test out the waters because um, no one in my family practices medicine, so it's truly like a completely new world. Definitely short term, get my grades, you know, keep my good grades and also learn and like know what I'm passionate about and then pursuing that long term and, you know, being able to know what I want to do and do it well. So, yes, so I recently, I recently applied to mayor for a day and the, what I was talking about was homelessness and racial injustice and kind of where they interlap and intersect. Homelessness is really big and school shootings and gun control really big, racial injustice, because these are the three things that I think that I see on an everyday basis. And they, a lot of times they seem bigger than you are, so it's hard to, sometimes you feel kind of helpless, but I, um, but I definitely want to try to do anything that I can to kind of be in a position where I can do something and can have a say because um, I have things to say. So um, yeah, I'm in a lot of clubs that do, you know, homeless outreach, so not only like acknowledging that exists, but also expanding, you know, letting the information be out. Um, we do a lot of like little goodie bags. I, uh, my church also does that. We do a lot of that. I, it's a really widespread issue and it's not just um, people on the streets, but it's, it's the things that are leading up to that. So the poverty, the, you know, the really difficult bureaucracy, racial injustice, a systematic racism that really limits people from finding a way into, you know, especially if they come from a different country, which is a lot of the times what happens. And it's hard to find a connection in a place where you don't have the resources to, and there are limits that are above you, and they're a lot of times systematic. So that really angers me. So definitely passionate about that one. Yeah. Most difficult thing. Just, you know, cultural identity, kind of like finding that balance. And I, that's like something that I've definitely overcome. Um, I, I definitely feel like definitely a more confident and stronger person now that I have like a connection with my background and I feel more solidified and kind of know where I'm at, like kind of, and the people that like are important to me and I'm important to them. So cultural identity and I've also had a lot of illness in the family. It's definitely been one of the main reasons that I'm propelled into medicine just because it's I've like you know been in and out of hospitals through my childhood and um, definitely all these little challenges that build up to the bigger picture and I think they can all they all take a toll on a person but they can also all give opportunities and I think definitely the grief is like my drive is definitely fruit of both you know my passion for the science and also like just you know my background and like what happened in my history so you know, realizing that, you know, every hardship, you know, it can be an opportunity. So being able to just like digest that and, you know, and li let yourself like live through it kind of, I would definitely suggest trying to stay on your path and pursue that and go and go through it. Everything, um, at least in my experience, which is not everyone's experience, but, um, you know, everything will lead to something better. And I think um, allowing yourself to believe that will help you get there. So. I just really hope that everyone finds their voice and finds their drive because um, it's really beautiful. I, it's not just me. I see different friends who um, it's so beautiful to see someone take, you know, take charge in their own kind of, kind of, you know, future prospects. So um, I really hope every, every, everyone can find that as like as little as it can be and as big as it may be. So just being able to find the passion that like drives me today and hopefully will drive me for the rest of my life. So.